Have you seen what's going on with Cody Ko? Oh, he got some rape allegations on his jacket. Yeah, apparently. Uh, no, but he wait, but he was like he did he did, he did a little post on Patreon and got over that shit, right? No, that's something else. Oh, he got he got that some was new for shit? him saying the n word. Oh, he got line. some. Oh he, oh, he got some new shit. So he's yet to address this, and here's what's so funny, because yeah, he's he, you brought that up. Cody Ko has been. They've tried to cancel Cody Ko before by yeah. bringing up his old vines. Yeah. I think there's only one, yeah. or maybe two. Yeah. When he would like say the N word. Yeah. Right. And and the way that he dealt with it was just making a text post on his Patreon, like, Girl. yo, my bad, yo. You know, I hope I hope y'all still fuck with me. Yeah. Type y'all shit. Still fuck with me. Real. <laughs> Real. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a minor shit he got going on, right? Yeah. The new shit is Ten and Mongoose or Ten and Mongoose. Uh, ten and Mongoose. That, that yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, she went on a podcast and said that she. That she, she fucked him when she was 17 and he was 25. A Rolling, St- Rolling Stone already, already wrote an article. Oh, really? Tana Minor, who opens up about alleged underage hookup with YouTuber Cody Ko, the influencer clarified that she doesn't look back on her relationship with the, with the then 25-year-old as a source of trauma. The Rolling Stone be on some bullshit. YouTube personality and podcast Tana Minor, who has made waves in the creator space with the impromptu remarks about fellow social media star Cody Ko having sex with her during a period in time when they collaborated on videos when she was 17 and he was 25 years old. And in a live recording of her podcast, Cancelled, not the podcast called Cancelled. It is what it's called, yeah. Before a Sacramento audience at the end of at the end of May, Monty who faced a hot seat segment, answering a barrage of questions as quickly and honestly as possible. She revealed her last favorite city of the tour, New Orleans, recounted recounted taking a brand a brand partnership to promote a sketchy jewel charger that could be hooked to a smartphone and claimed that rapper Tiger is the most famous person she ever slept with. Hold on. How old was she? Was she fucked Tiger? Because Tiger is a known red shirter. Yo, Tiger's a known red shirter, yo. Yeah, like, He's known. Like, yeah. yo, leave Cody Tiger right there. He already had allegations. Like, I don't like Rack City that much. Take <laughs> Tiger. Take Tiger. Oh, shit. <laughs> but it was even more Purell and. Co- oh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what that word is. Tell me that one is. Purell, I've never seen it. Yep. All right. I don't know why it's the nigga who said who English is second language. Yeah, I've never seen that word. I've never seen either. But it was but it was more of a Purell inquiry that led to shock and scandalized reactions. X about the smallest no 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 no, 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 no. Asked about the smallest dick she ever had sex with. She replied, Oh my god, no one look at me, Cody Co. As the room erupted in screams, she added, I can say that I was literally 17 in California where Corey lives in 2016. The age of consent is eight. First of all, first of all, my goal. Yeah, I know that that's fucked up. Yeah. Why they, she first of all, did him too dirty. Don't tell me I didn't consensually have sex with a 17 year old in my dick, little. That's, that's crazy. Fucking, he's been humiliated enough. Yo. What the fuck we else we want? Yo, don't tell the world. I didn't even know that part, by the way. And that's, I feel like we're focusing on the wrong shit. We are. We are. <laughs> yo, it's a culture. The end of the wild. Yeah. What the fuck? That video should have been about, yo, we're just exposing men's little pieces. Yo. I feel like that's that's punishment enough for fucking a 17-year-old. Yes, I like Everybody on the internet knowing you got a little me. That's why you had to fuck a 17-year-old in his dick little. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's fucked up, yo. Yo, don't, yo, don't. Has he gone through enough? Yo, don't tell the world that my dick little. I think that's a fair punishment for him doing that. Also, don't tell the, tell my world that you you knew my dick was little before you graduated high school. Also, why did she specify California like that? That was suspicious. No, the article specified oh, California. I thought she was like, hey, California. Was- the article specified California. Got it, got it. Let me hey, keep, unlock it so we can keep reading. That's for I didn't One know that. One of my that. favorite things to do this podcast now is just read articles. Bro, I, I didn't know that. That shit's crazy. Why they said that? Don't you love learning crazy. stuff? It's amazing. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Endless source of uh, content. While the tour had a policy against phone usage and recordings during shows, footage of the conversation still made it to TikTok and other social media platforms where clicker spread led to uh, accommodations of Co. as well as attacks on Amon Hughes on Monty, who's character and credibility. Damn, they're questioning her character. Well, she's a whore. She's a known whore, so. Oh, yeah, she, 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 she. Yeah, yeah, no oh, 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 so they slut shame her instead of being like she lying. Oh, she definitely sucked that small dick. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight. 
A representative for Code did not immediately respond to a request for comment on Monahue's allegations, while spoken while spokesperson for Monahue said she had no further comment. Rumors that the pair had slept together when Monahue was underage have circled for years, but this on stage illusion is an inappropriate relation led to. Wait, excuse me, but this on stage illusion to an inappropriate relationship led fans of Co to demand that the comedian, podcast, the rapper who married to you, don't bring my wife into this neither. Don't bring my wife. You He's know I'm married with a wife and kids. Nasty by the, by the this minute. is nasty. Who married YouTuber Kelsey Kreppel last year with the couple becoming a parents in January. Oh, you bringing up my wife and kids. Make a statement acknowledging Montague's stories. Weeks after it, weeks after it first started making rounds, he has yet to address the topic. Mani, who meanwhile has recently sought to clarify her feelings about what happened between them almost a decade ago. See, to be 100 been truthful, when I look back at the Cody situation, I definitely am like, why, why is he doing that? She, she's right. <coughs> she said in an episode of A Cancel last weekend, she recorded an event at which a, sing, a singer and influencer, Gabby Hanna, yeah. Pull Cole to his side and told Hermione he was only 17, but the two left and hooked up anyway. I can look at that and be like, why the fuck were you doing that? She said. But I don't but I don't associate it or hold it with any trauma. Monty, who turned 26 in, on Monday, explained, because I'm such a comparative, comparative person where I'm like, so many worse things have happened to me. And that's that. But I genuinely feel that way. She went, she went on to, to describe how she grew up on Cole's content and was a fan and was excited to spend time with him. And, at, and, and I understand where, I, where now, as a growing adult, that you can say you were taken advantage of. If I, here, here's a quote. If I had a 17-year-old daughter or little sister in the same situation, I would kill. Jesus Christ. This article is, Leo, Rolling Stone wrote like a three-page article on this shit. This article just kept getting longer. Oh, my God. Yeah, Cody, Cody, we got to get him out the paint. Yeah, that shit was bad. Yeah, man, I'm what sorry. Yeah, boy. yeah. With all the facts, how could I? How <laughs> yeah, could I? It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. Well, it, it just kept getting worse. It's it like, just kept getting worse. It's like her being like, why are you doing this? I was, yo, it's. Looking back on it and being like, why are you doing this is the worst part. Yeah. Not and saying that you were a fan. That means like that's that, a little that's bit of old, grooming. Yeah. Oh my god. And the Gabby Hannon shit. The other you Gabby pulling like, pulling him to the side. I'm like, yo, you know she's young. Damn. Now let's yeah. seriously consider what punishment is appropriate for him. Yeah. <laughs> he brought the law though, gang. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think you can. If she's not gonna prosecute him, I mean. but I'm saying like it is like it isn't like. Doctor Respect actually didn't break the law. Mm. Right, right. Like he just he just texted minors. No, no laws are broken. Weird, weird as fuck. Cody actually broke the law. But what can you he do? Fuck the minor. No, I feel you. But what? What? Like in a state where it's illegal to fuck minors. I, it's mad state where it's illegal to fuck minors. It's mad of them. One of the states where it's illegal to do what he did it at. He's not even good at committing crimes. No, it's because he's a nice Canadian guy. Uh, no, I, I, what, what I mean is like, okay, so, because that's what I, I mentioned the statute of limitations earlier. Like, is there a statute of limitations on it's, that? It's not even about that. It's like, as, as a. Like you're saying morally. Morally speaking, not, not morally. He cro- morally, he already crossed the line, was fucking a 17 year old. Yeah. They're like, but yeah. now it's illegal now, too. Right. So now it's like repercussions got to come at hand. So that's what that's what I'm asking. Yeah, what, man. what do you what do you think? Is the advertisers got to come and take money away from them? Like I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how. If you advertise with Cody Co, like if you advertise on the channel, how can you read that and be like, oh, we're still going to give him money to support Rave Shadow Legends? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like realistically speaking, like how yeah. could you do that? I mean, I think it, doesn't that usually happen when they address it? Don't shit get cut from them the moment you're like not Dr. Dr. Disrespect got dropped from Twitch. He did. And nobody even knew. Nobody knew until the Twitch employee just randomly said it. Yeah, like years later. 
What, okay, what do you think, Cody? Do you think Cody Cole should break his uh, don't address shit uh, <laughs> rule? Because I don't. Do I, I think? Do I, I just don't know what you would say. There's like, nothing you can say. That's what I'm saying. So like I won't say anything still. That's like, what like, cause like I don't like if I was a fu- a freak nasty fuck nigga who fuck 17 year olds unconsensually. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say anything either. I don't. There's literally nothing you could say. I, you can't make it any better. Yeah, you can only make it worse by bringing it to a whole bunch of people. Yeah, by putting it by putting it in front of your audience now. Hey, listen, and maybe it's a maybe maybe it's a, a moral thing where it's like, I want to face repercussions. Fuck it. I'll, I'll I'll let me. Maybe at some point he's like. Maybe he reflects like, yo, that shit is bad. Let me get ahead of this and face whatever comes with it and just face it dead on. Mm. I think maybe that's a that's a like a, a a moral way of doing it instead of like just waiting, waiting, waiting until you, you the shit happens and then maybe saying something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That is pretty bad though. Like all it's all awful. the extra details, it just kept it's getting awful. worse and worse. It's all, yeah. it, it kept getting worse and worse. Well, hello, potty mouth.